Being a master of one is the ultimate goal. But what if you can be the king of more than one? Mike Mayende, a professional landscaper, is here to share with us more. I am Nyangweso Grenis. So Mike, yes. tell us about yourself. What do you do? Uh, my name is Mike Mayende. Mm -hmm. I'm a landscaper. I graduate from Masiano University. Um also a designer, interior design, but I do also beauty as a side hustle. Beauty as a side hustle. Yes. Let's talk more about that. Yes. So different people have different reasons of doing things. Uh -huh. What inspired you to be in beauty? I was inspired mm -hmm. uh, when I joined Maseno mm -hmm. first year there was no a good place for a person to shave and uh, let's say to take over their skin or uh, the nails. Mm -hmm. So that's why I saw that as a problem. Mm -hmm. So I was looking for a solution for that. Because okay. uh, personally, I used to travel to Kisumu okay. so that I can do my hair mm. or my nails. Yeah, so that's why I saw that as a problem. So I had to look for a solution by bringing that service to Masema. Mm. Yes. So, Kunae Msema, Kinyozi Hajinyoi. Yes. And Umesema, you travel from Maseno to Kisumu. Yes. Now that you also started your place, uh -huh. Nani Anakunyo? We have <laughs> okay, so uh, I have babas. Uh -huh. I have uh, three babas, mm. so I'm always shared by them. Oh, okay, yes. Mm. And uh, so, starting beauty uh -huh. was it something you trained for or an inborn talent? I was not trained, mm. but uh, seeing it as an opportunity mm. while I was in first year. Uh, I had to train so that uh, it will be a hassle so that I can, uh, let's say, pay my bills mm -hmm. using the money from the hassle. Nice. Yes. Okay. I assume you are a student in first year. Yes. Now, Mesema Bills, would yes. you explain that concept, Kidogo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have many bills. Mm campus, mm -hmm. let's say rent, uh, food, mm -hmm. dressing, you have to dress well, mm -hmm. yeah, at times you have to go out, yeah, so those are bills that you, you have to settle on your own. On your own? Yes. But I think well, we're talking the same Mzazi at Alipa. Yeah, uh, Mzazi at times, you uh. know, like us. Uh, my parents are very strict mm. and uh, you see they cannot give you everything. money for everything mm. once they pay your fee that's all so others <laughs> love to look for yourself okay yeah and uh, coming from such background mm. you're motivated mm -hmm. to go and look for more so that you can at least live a life in campus. Okay. Yes. So do you have a joint of yours or it's someone else's shop you're doing? Tell us about it. Uh, the shop, uh, I rented the shop. Mm. It's a single business. Mm. Yes. So I've rented a shop. That's where I do my work okay. at Masema. So what is the name of your shop? Cheska Royals mm. is the name of the shop. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So how did it all begin? Take us through the journey of starting and how you are right now. So, um, it started uh, while I was in first year, mm. second year. Mm. 
I was, uh, you know, I was still hustling as a first year. I used to sell mandazis okay. during first years. Yeah. So you see, when you get a profit, you'll want to go and uh, look for a quality service. Yeah. As a, say, just to motivate yourself. So when it comes to shaving, I used to consider quality service, mm. which was not available in Maseno. Okay. So I used to say that this one, I'll open mm -hmm. such service in Maseno, so that at least my fellow students will get the same service mm. that they are missing. So I started uh, saving, but then uh, while I was in second year, mm. uh, we did a unit mm. that encouraged us to do a lot of uh, design at the field. So that's why I went outside to try. I went to a client and told him that uh, I'm a interior designer. Mm. Then the client told me, can you do the work? I say yes. Yet I had no experience okay. in that. Yeah, so when we were at the site, he asked me many questions which I couldn't answer. Mm. Then uh, that's when I went. I excused myself mm. and went away. <laughs> <laughs> so Little I went, yeah, in Little <laughs> I went to research more okay. on that okay. through those questions. Mm. So I had to go to mm. look for another client because I could not... You could not go back to that. Yes, yeah. yeah. So I kind of cut after another client. Mm -hmm. This time I was a bit uh, knowledgeable yeah. Yeah. <laughs> about the field. Uh -huh. I involved my lecturers mm. on the areas that I wasn't uh, sure about them. Mm. Yeah, then um, <clears throat> this time I got the job. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> he told me that uh, you can try this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I tried. It came out nice. and uh, he was pleased. Okay. So I earned a profit of 30,000 wow. from that work. Yeah. So that was when I say now this is the way. Yeah. Then. Um, I had to go and look for, let's say, clothes to change my wardrobe so that I can be I presentable the <laughs> to the clients. <laughs> yeah, so after that, mm -hmm. that's when I got various contracts mm -hmm. from, from the referrals. Mm -hmm. Others, I was looking for them myself. Then I rented a shop. Okay. I rented that shop for six months, mm -hmm. but uh, it was not opened. I used to buy one seat, then I relax, yeah, until I gathered everything. So to kind of left from there. Wow. Yeah. I've just liked how you took that initiative because no matter how much you let me go try, yes. and from that you learned what is supposed to be done, yeah. and from that also you can Yeah. That ntakupak pongezi. Sorry. And uh, so when I was at your shop, mm -hmm. nearly notice wengi ni wanaume. Mm -hmm. They are the ones doing the work. Yes. And this is a female dominated industry. Mm -hmm. And you are a man. Mm -hmm. Take us through that concept. Mm -hmm. Why the men being more in your shop? Uh, first of all, mm -hmm. let's say men being uh, more, mm -hmm. uh, uh, having more men at my shop does not mean that we don't work with ladies. Okay. Yeah, we work with the ladies, but you see most of our clients are ladies mm. and they prefer men okay. since <laughs> during the service. Mm. I think uh, they are free when men work on them. Mm. Yes. Okay, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. And what about you? What is the response of the community around you? you being a man in that industry? At first, yeah. people used to confuse us as, let's say, gay. Okay, that's right. Yeah, sad. so uh, maybe if you're doing nails, mm. people ask, why are you doing this? Mm. We used to do even uh, 
hairdressing, dreadlocks to be specific. But mtu akuja anasema this is work for ladies. Yeah, so hapo do shida ilikuwa. So I had to explain to them that tuna hustle. So how is it now that concept of you being considered gay yet you're straight? Uh, <clears throat> that one is not, uh, once you know yourself, mm. you're not a gay, you don't have to explain to the world that mm. you're not a gay. Okay. You do your thing, because uh, you won't eat. Mm. Yeah, so with the time, people will understand you with the things you do that you're not a gay. Yes, so at least it broadens people's mind mm. that... Uh, now of lana mm. wanaweza fanya hivi okay. bila kuwa kuwashutumu mm. that they are gay na si gay okay. yes uh, so at least tulijaribu kubadilisha mm. what was yone that this work is just for ladies you started by saying that you saw a problem in Maseno akuna watu wananyoa vizuri yes. and you decided kuweka yako. Yes. So uh, since then have you seen any competition that you can say any competition sawa sawa? Yes. Mm. Uh, at first uh, we were overwhelmed with clients. Mm. So ulipata tuko na a lot of clients. You people are coming for the good service that mm. wasn't there before. Yeah, so happened to Kaona Kunashida Kidogo. Okay. But people peer Kaona Yoshida, they can solve it. But by opening mm -hmm. more beauty shops and the papa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have competition. Yes. But uh, we believe in ourselves. We have the best service, so mm. we still have our clients. That's great. Yes. So how has the experience been since you began until now? Uh, it has not been easy, mm -hmm. let's say as a student, and you, you are also an uh, entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. You have to balance. At times you are in class, you are client and at the gear. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in a hurry. Kuja unitengeneze, naenda out, mm. ama naenda mahali. So, at times, una kuwa tempted utoke class, uende umtengeneze. Mm. But others uto explain him in class, then they will wait for you. Mm. So that's a major problem. Yeah, in this industry, uspopata watu waminifu, wengi watakuibia. Okay. Yeah, so when they serve a client, they will just have some agreement, then they take some money. You know? yeah. okay. So those are the challenges. Mm -hmm. yeah. At times, uh, the people, that the, the staffs, they don't report on time. Mm -hmm. But a client anangoja sana. So those are the challenges and many others. Many others. Tuambie mm. zote. <laughs> Tunataka kujua. You know there's someone out there anataka kuanzisha kinyozi ama anataka ah. kuanza hiyo beauty shop lakini anafikiria ah mm. kunaendaje. Tell us about the challenges and how you maneuver them. Okay. Uh challenge uh, working with many people mm. is a challenge. So you love to have uh, management skills. Okay. How to relate with them? How to make them understand that this is their work. It is not mine. Mm. Yeah, so the how you relate with them matters. Okay. At times clients will bring problems. Maybe client alimu handle inappropriately. Mm. Yeah. So you'll have to make both parties to be satisfied. Yeah. Yeah. So that one ataona umemu. Umemueka kando. Ya yeah, umemueka kando mm -hmm. na umefeva hui mingine. Mm -hmm. Ya yeah, so you have to act. <laughs> Accordingly. Accordingly. So that at least mm. both of them watafilu wako saa. Nukwede. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you said that uh, part of 
the biggest investment in your uh, your business was through landscaping yes. now as a graduate and a professional landscaper yeah. how do you how do you intend to spearhead your career as well as doing the side job uh, i've been preparing for this mm. actually uh, i've been training people uh, in different capacity mm -hmm. managerial so that when i'm outside doing my work mm. I, the job will continue. Mm -hmm. They will continue serving people, and, uh, and the clients will be satisfied without me being there. Okay. So I've been preparing them. When the time comes that maybe I won't be there for a good time, mm. then I think the work will continue. Okay. Yes. Sorry. But that does not mean sita kuwa hapo, because I have those clients. Mm -hmm. When you upenda who you in Yeah, I was yeah. meaning to ask that. How do you go through that? Yeah, so the, those ones you create time for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're also your client. So you create time. Mm -hmm. You explain that I won't be there on Wednesday, mm -hmm. but on Friday I'll make sure I'll be there. So mm -hmm. they will wait. Now make sure ko hapo na Uh I will ask this. How do you ensure that your customer is fully satisfied for a long period of time? Now understand, kama ni wanaume, kinyozi yule hata kama kue wapi, ni huyo tu. How do you manage that? First, How do you ensure uh, that, yeah? Chess Carols, mm -hmm. imekua, ina, make sure that clients be, uh, get the best uh, service. Hapo tunangalia usafi kwanza, okay. hygiene, mm. the way you interact with them, the way you receive them from the reception till the last step. Yeah, so that we ni mtu may decide come and spend the money mm. hapo for the service. And it's a service industry. Ukimu treat vibaya with a lot of carelessness, then we'll opt for another person. Yeah, so right from the word go to keep at a client, to make sure we're satisfied, we take our time at rush. Mm -hmm. So I think those are some of the things to make back in now have to okay. up to now. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So where do you see yourself in the next ticket? Uh, actually, I'm planning to build the brand just carols mm -hmm. we're planning to go maybe if not country wild regional mm -hmm. yeah so that is my dream wow. that one day will be the best brand yeah okay I meant that. <laughs> yeah, I think so. mm -hmm. and what about your career where do you see it in the next ticket uh so far I've done a major project mm -hmm. so that's an indication that I'm going somewhere mm -hmm. yeah and uh, I'm hoping that uh, in the next few years will be the best mm -hmm. in the country and regional also wow yeah so we are working hard on both sides mm -hmm. On the professional side, do you do the project as a company, under a company, or as yourself? Okay, um, I do as myself, mm -hmm. but uh, now that I'm certified, um, in the process of registering a company, wow. but before I've been doing to other companies, okay. but now I want to start mine, mm -hmm. fully so that Mbona ungesema hivyo kitambo? Niendelee nayo. Nitijenge. So utakuwa na Cheska Royals na yako pia. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. What would you call your landscaping company? Now we are going to maintain mm, Cheska. Cheska Royals. Wow. Mm -hmm. The brand. Be a brand uh -huh. of all the trades. But we are planning to specialize in landscaping mm. and beauty. Wow. Yes. No, all of them are in a deal na beauty. Yeah, yeah. We want to beautify your natural space. Mm -hmm. Then we 
you want to beautify your body. That is so, so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. There is obviously a youth member uko nje, either ako shule ama haku manage kwenda shule mm-hmm. and anaona this haiwezi mm-hmm. haifiki penye nko nataka kufika. Yeah. What can you tell them through your story? Uh, at first mm-hmm. we used to shave at at uh, 30 bob. Mm. Shave in Maseno those days. So mimi vile nilisema nakuja nilisema one day nitafungua kinyozi and nita shave na 100 bob from 30. Okay. So people were against that. Mm. At first when I approached my dad come on here I need to start a business. Can you lend me something? akaniambia ulienda shule kusoma <laughs> <laughs> si kufanya biashara, <laughs> biashara. Uh-huh. and uh, it became a serious issue mm. aka involve my mom we had a serious talk <laughs> 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 yeah but i always understand that at campus level mm. there are something you need especially our course it was expensive mm. since it is a technical Yeah. course mm-hmm. so you have to go and uh, buy expensive things travel from one place to another mm-hmm. yeah so through that ukieka that unasikia mtu aitakuwa possible itakurudisha nyuma so as personally nilisema Uh, in fact huwa napenda mtu akisema haiwezekani eh. so mimi napenda akisema hivyo ni work ndo ni prove that inawezekana yeah. yeah so in fact my friends walikuwa wanasema kinyozi at second year huwezi fungua something vile nilikuwa na explain here that itakuwa a big space maybe hivi mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah so akasema such services haijai kuwa maseno mm. people hawatakuja yeah but mimi nilikuwa na believe that i know ni kianza mm. watu wata watakuja yeah so what would you tell a young person who may still be doubting themselves uh you know when you interact with uh, young people mm. they are full of uh, innovative innovative yeah. they have visions but they always skeptical mm. on how they will start them first you see niliamuka siku moja nikasema nao naanza kupika mandazi at first year sikuwa mm. najua watu uh, nilikuwa siongei na watu sana i was a bit introvert so <laughs> your time get into people and tell them can you buy my mandazi it was hard you see mm. so um, i had a friend nikamwambia nisaidie hapa so tulikuwa tunaenda na yeye mm. she was in tadia yeah so tunaenda na yeye and then introduce nikaanza hivyo so hiyo nikajua ukisema unaanza uko na kitu usiogope just start when i started my landscape work i approached a client i had no idea in fact uh, this time i was called by a mwingi mm. a contractor from nakuru kaniambia kuja mm. ufanye landscape i've been referred to you so that time i was worried that these are contractor na amenita za professional for advice i was worried nikachukua gari from kisumu but all the time nilikuwa nasoma napitia notes hey. <laughs> yeah so hiyo ningesema that ninaogopa mm. siko well versed na hii maneno mm. sikaenda but nilijipa moyo nikasema let me go mm-hmm. ikianguka ni sawa Yeah, bora uendelee ni sawa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, spendi kuwa na after ujafanya kitu you have regrets that I wish ningejaribu. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's good that you try. Mm-hmm. No matter 
the outcome. Thank you so much. I have enjoyed the talk. I have learned a lot and I'm sure Pia Wewe, you have learned a lot. Amesema usiogope. And I relate, do not be afraid. Even for those that are telling you haiwezekani, jua inawezekana. Wewe ndi unajua the magnitude of your dream. You understand how big you want it. So why why not? Go try. Do it. Na utapata ule mmoja takusaidia kuuza mandazi kwa kuintroduce wenzako. Because it is not impossible. This has been Youth in Action. I am Nyangwe Sogrens. This is the way to do it.